In this video, we're going to see how to call a flow from Lightning Web Component. So this approach uh, comes really handy when you want to offload some of the logic in flow uh, where you can, uh, you, can, you can implement a business process or automate a business process without writing any code, isn't it? So when you want to do away from writing a code and then make use of flow to complete your business automation logic and then simply leveraging that logic or invoking that logic you know from lightning web component so so that's where you know this comes really really handy okay you can avoid writing a lot of code and then achieve a lot of automation just by simply using flow okay so let's see the key steps so the first thing is we're going to create a flow and then we are going to create variables in flow most importantly we wanted to mark the inputs as available for input or the variables available for input this way uh, a legacy component can send the required inputs to the flow and the flow can you know further and in the flow you can you can further build all the automation logic right and also to help uh, <clears throat> or uh, to enable us or enable us to use uh, uh, flow within lightning web component or invoke a flow from lightning web component salesforce has given a tag called lightning flow which is a base component so this lightning flow base component can be used in lightning web component code and then make a call to a lightning web comp right make a call to a flow so you need to know the api name of the flow and also you know you can just pass values to the input parameters let us try to create a very simple flow and a simple lightning web component and then see how this works yeah so let's switch to our org and i'm gonna click on new flow i'm gonna create a screen flow okay and um, I'll add a component, screen component. So I'm going to name this as um, account uh, account info, yeah. And I'm going to bring um, just a text, just a text. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I want to show. Let's say I want to show the. Um, account ID yeah just the account ID and uh, all right this is an input right let me just do this let me just display use display text so that I can just show account ID so I'll simply say the account ID okay so now I want to you know show the account ID right so I'm going to create a resource I'll click on this resource create this new resource so I'll create a variable. I'm going to name this as v underscore i n just a best practice. So this is a variable and this is going to be exposed as an input. So i n underscore I'll just say uh, account id. <clears throat> right. And I'm going to choose this as text. That's all it is. And as I said, this is the value that is going to come from the lightning web component. So I'm going to mark this as available for input. Yeah, That's a key step. Done. Perfect. So now let's simply show this account ID. Let's see how this works. Then we can further, you know, um, increase the complexity of this flow. So this is cool. And in the footer, I don't want uh, the header. I don't want uh, to show the header and uh, don't show me the footer. Say done. Yeah. So I'll click on save. I'm going to say this is uh, account. Uh, info yeah that's the name i'm going to keep this flow api name i'm going to need this api name so i'll just say save of course you know i did not give any i did not add any navigation buttons right that's why there is a warning but it's okay this is not going to prevent us from activating our flow so i'll say activate now this is the flow that i'm going to use it in my lightning web component so i'll go and then i'm going to use this flow api name so i'll keep this one handy and now I'll just go back to my VS code and then I'm going to create a lightning web component very quickly <clears throat> and then see how it works. So, so I'm in my VS code. I'm going to create a new lightning web component. So I'm going to name this as um, learn invoke flow from LWC. And... Um, let it let it create let the component gets created then we can yes so i'm gonna <clears throat> bring the html as well and i'll just split this to the right yeah so this is where 
you know we are going to use that base component i was just talking about so there is a there is a documentation from salesforce which explains in detail what this particular component will do yeah so let's uh, we just picked up a very simple use case right uh, we wanted to show the account id isn't it so let's simply you know use this one so i'm going to just going to copy this one and uh, also this is going to have another property flow iphone input so you have you can find that attribute name as well right here yeah so i'll just copy this first and then we can make tweaks later yeah so the first is the flow apa name so i wanted to i want to give the lightning web component framework the apa name of the flow that needs to be that needs to be loaded you know when the lightning web component is added to the page so let's go to the flow and copy the apa name so that is done and the input variables right so let me just do this so in our javascript so let's go here i'm going to create a property with this name input variables yeah and i'm going to say uh, return or i'll just say constant input to uh, flow is equal to it has to be an array of javascript objects so i'm just going to create an array and then javascript objects yeah so because for every variable that you want to pass from the lightning web component to the flow you are going to create you know you're going to pass it as a as a as a as a javascript or in a javascript object you know syntax so i'm going to open this up i can pass this name i can pass the type and also i can pass the value okay so the number one thing i'm gonna do is um, the name which is which has to match with the now i'll go and then get the apa name i'll just put the name now and i'm gonna uh, i'm sorry not the apa name so i'm gonna pass the input parameters isn't it so i'll go to my flow and um, i'll ensure that uh, the exact variable name is used yeah this is the one that is marked as as available for input i'll just copy this one i'll go back and then put it right here and of course we know that account id is of type string right it's an alpha numeric so i can just say the input that we're about to pass from the lightning web component to the flow it's of type string yeah and what is the value that we wanted to pass um for now let me just hard code this it is possible you know to pass dynamic values as well but for now let me just hard code this just to showcase you can pass information from or you can send information from uh, lwc to the flow yeah so let's do that first so i'm gonna say 0x or 001 and then x some alphanumeric characters yeah so we'll do that let's save this let's save this and ensure that these two are matching perfectly fine right so i'll also ensure that this is um, exposed to true and also we can just set the targets so that i can use this in multiple places i want to use this either record page app page or home page so i'll save this now let me right click and then deploy yes now the deployment is completed let's go to our flow or org rather i'm just going to go to the account page i'm going to bring this lightning web component right here okay so i'll go to file edit sorry i'll go to settings edit page so when you are in this edit mode let's wait for the custom yes you can just see all the custom custom components that you have created yeah so the one that we wanted to use is learn invoke flow from lwc right just drag and then drop it onto the screen yeah I just wanted to save this and then see whether it works or not yeah. let's do that save let's go back well i don't see the account right it looks like i made a mistake in my code let's go back here yeah i did not return this so let me do that a simple mistake so let me just return this so basically what we are doing is whenever this input variable right this is basically a data binding concept in lightning up component so whenever this property is accessed you know this is the data that is going to that is going to you know that is going to be uh, returned yeah so i missed this return statement that's why it did not work let me just save this and then deploy the 
code again yes now the deployment has just been completed let's go and then refresh the page yes that's it i think we can now see this you know and we can see this account id right whatever we hard coded it gets printed correct but the important key or the key takeaway is you know we can use flow in lightning web component which is fairly easy all we have to use to us we need to expose variables that we think you know need to get uh, needs to get information uh, uh, from the lightning web component in our case we simply created um, we simply created a we simply created a, a string yeah a text or a string input variable and then the lightning web component is just passing the information right here correct so you can expose multiple input variables so all i have to do is i just have to add another you know another js object format and then you know start sending information to the flow yeah so we will see a more complex scenario in the next video but i hope this video you know um, you found you find this video helpful to see uh, how you can use a lightning web component and flow together